Welcome to How to Fix Undeposited Funds in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. And so uh, want to walk through when you have errors in undeposited funds. Now, the most uh, common error is going to be when you have these undeposited funds amounts hanging out there that uh, have not cleared and you don't know how to get them out of there. So first of all, what I want to do is I want to walk you through a couple things with undeposited funds. Undeposited funds is basically an account in QuickBooks, which means you have received a payment from a customer, uh, but you have not yet taken it to the bank. Okay, so the process in QuickBooks, uh, and I'm going to show you how to turn this off and on, but the, the process in QuickBooks is, okay, you might receive payments from customers throughout the day, throughout the week, over a couple days, and then you're going to take them to the bank. And so you know, QuickBooks is saying, okay, we don't want you to show them as in the bank account uh, right when you receive them if you haven't deposited them yet, yet because they're not available to use, okay? And so once you, if you follow this little flow chart, you'll see here, create invoices, receive payments, record deposits, okay? Now, some people don't like this function and you can turn this off, all right? So that when you make a deposit, or receive, or when, I'm sorry, when you receive a payment from a customer, it goes directly into the bank account, okay? So to do that, first of all, you're gonna go up to edit and go down to preferences, okay? And you're gonna go to this payments option right here and click on company preferences, all right? And you're gonna see here this checkbox, use undeposited funds as a default deposit to account. So you can turn this off if you don't like this, all right? Now we're gonna keep it on for this example, but you can turn that off for your business. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So so let's say that you've received these payments and uh, you've recorded them in QuickBooks. You said gone to receive customer payments, recorded them, and now you got to make the deposit. So what you're going to do in QuickBooks then is you're going to say banking, make deposits, and you'll see this screen pop up that says, okay, here are the payments that you need to deposit. So if you received Christy Abercrombie's payment, 450 bucks, you're gonna check this off, click OK, and it moves it from undeposited funds over to the checking account, all right? And then you hit save and close, and now it's out of undeposited funds and it went to the checking account. So now we're gonna look at, okay, what happens if you have these amounts in undeposited funds but they've either already been deposited, you don't know what they are, where are they coming from. So let me show you, uh, this is the most common way that this happens, okay? So you, let's say you receive a payment. So you go to customers and you say, uh, receive payments. And it could have been somebody else recorded this and who knows what they did. You're coming into this situation just figuring out, okay, what happened and, and how do we fix this? So what they probably did is they probably went in and they said, okay, receive customer payment. And let's say, you know, we'll pick Robert Allard, uh, $14,510. Let's say that he paid us. We click uh, check to say that he paid us. Now, because of the default we have checked in preferences, this is going to put it to undeposited funds. Okay, so we're going to say 14510 We received that payment. All right. So then what happens is um, it could be that they recorded this and then somehow they just went to banking, make deposits, and they could have done it this way where they canceled this or they went directly to the check register and they recorded this deposit, okay? So typically what's gonna happen is they're gonna say from account and they're gonna say, okay, well, we just got this money and this was design income and we'll say Robert Allard payment, okay? Maybe they put in a check number, payment method was uh, check and it was 14,510. All right, so we're going to say 14, 5, 10. Okay, so what is happening in this situation? Once I hit save and close, okay, I'm going to say save and close. What has happened in this situation is now your income is counted twice. All right, so it was counted when you did the invoice to Robert Lard, 14,510, and you received the payment. And now when you went and made a deposit, you put that deposit to this uh, construction revenue, construction income account. So now you have double counted your income.
And what happens is, if we now go to Banking Make Deposits, you're going to see that this pops up, but you're going to ignore it because it's like, okay, well, maybe you came in after another accountant or another bookkeeper and you see this and you're like, well, I don't know what this is. I mean, this is from two months ago, six months ago, whatever the case may be. So you got to figure out how to fix this. All right. You got to clear this stuff out of here because what is happening is you are now double counting this as income. That's the effect that this has. All right. So if you find yourself in this situation, I wanted to give you that little bit of background of how this comes about typically, because you got to know how it comes about to be able to fix it. All right. So this is what you're probably going to see on your end is I have no idea what this is. It's already been deposited and it's still showing up in undeposited funds. So how do we fix it? Okay. Well, what you're going to want to do, first of all, go back to the home screen. All right. And I want you to go over to the check register. All right, so we're going to choose the checking account. All right, so you're going to choose whatever account that this money was deposited to. All right, so you have to go and you have to find in the checking account where this deposit of, of 14510 was or whatever your undeposited fund amount was. Now, it could be a little bit tricky because it may be buried in with some other deposits. All right, so that's going to make it a little bit uh, tricky. So what you want to do is you want to find this deposit, 14510 Now, you know that this is not the undeposited funds amount because it's directly in the check register. Okay? So the easiest thing that you can do here is you can right-click, all right, and then you can go down to uh, Void Deposit. I'm not a big fan of deleting deposits or deleting other transactions in QuickBooks, but I do want to void this deposit. Okay? Now, What's going to happen is, is if this is from a previous uh, period, you will have to unreconcile and go back and re-reconcile those accounts, okay, your checking account. Okay, so we're going to void this deposit. All right, so we're going to click record. You can just say you changed it, yes. Okay, now you can go to banking, make deposits. Okay, and let me clear out of here and go back again because it's not going to bring up the... Uh, undeposited funds. All right, so here we go. We check this off and now we can deposit this. All right, so you want to make sure the date is the right date for that previous deposit. And let's say it was 12 15 2023. And now we hit save and close. Okay, so now this is going to be coming in here, right here, 14,510. You can see the previous. Uh, voided one here and now we have gotten revenue back to where it should be it's just counted one time we've recorded the deposit once and all is good okay now this can present some challenges as you're going back and fixing things especially if you have undeposited front funds from years past um, you know that can definitely cause some issues uh, and there are some workarounds for that all right. Any comments, any questions, please feel free to ask those below. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University. Got a lot more over there. I love answering your uh, personal questions when you become a, a QuickBooks University member. That website is qbuniversity.org.